James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to bring forward this 3.0 magnitude earthquake that popped off in New Mexico. To be more specific, Capulin, New Mexico, at a default depth of 10 kilometers. Now, what is my problem with this? Well, that is a volcano, a famous volcano, in something called the Raton Clayton Volcanic Field. Native Americans called it the land of a thousand volcanoes, Capulin Volcano, being one of the most impressive and largest volcanoes in the very large Raton Clayton Volcanic Field. It's over 7,500 square miles. Now, these are very old volcanoes and thought to be quote-unquote extinct. But to see movement in this area right near the largest or one of the largest volcanoes in this range is more than a bit of an awakening for me. Now, I'm going to show you all that there are thousands of volcanoes here. And this one, right next to where we saw the 3.0 here, is one of the largest. It's called Velas Caldera. It's now a national preserve. So we can all see it's a volcano here. And the one they actually use the name of, Capulin, is actually further over to the east. Now, my aunt lives in this area, and I was quickly able to zoom in and find the Santa Fe Ski Basin right here that I've been to hundreds of times. I've actually been down the backside of the mountain as well and had to walk all the way around. You can see that we're real close to where our quake went off. And this large volcano here, I believe, and I believe this is Capulin. I will show you a picture of it right here. Although these are all volcanoes. Uh, everything you see, all these small ones are volcanoes, etc. Uh, these are all calderas as well. When you zoom in, they're actually named. Here is Capuna Volcano National Monument here. A much larger volcano right here, Sierra Grande. And you can see that all these are volcanoes everywhere you look. And this is a volcanic field. Now here is Capulin Volcano, as you can see. Uh, that's what the earthquake was named after. And they think that it last erupted about 45,000 years ago, which is really a speck of time as far as the Earth being 4.4 billion years old. And the Raton Clayton Volcanic Field is an example of a large volcanic field. covers 7,500 square miles of northeastern New Mexico, joins Colorado and Oklahoma. Distinctive characteristics of the field is its great size, young age, and continental interior setting, possibly associated with one of the few volcanic hotspots in the world. If you start traveling east, you will not encounter another volcano or volcanic rocks this young again until you hit the mid-Atlantic ridge in the Atlantic Ocean. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very young, easily accessible volcano. One of the youngest in North America, as it says right here. Now, I thought I would bring this to your attention. It's offsetting Velas Caldera, one of the big ones in the Raton Clayton Volcanic Field. The youngest volcanic rock until you hit the mid-Atlantic ridge, all the way over here in the Atlantic Ocean. We're talking about very young stuff here. And we're talking about, well, right here in the middle of, really, Wawa Springs, on the edge of Wawa Springs here, and adjacent to, like they said, one of the hot spots, which is all of this area here in North America. Again, it bothers me because there is no fracking there. That's got to be some sort of magma movement. They do have it at a very shallow depth, although I believe it to be a default depth. They don't have an asterisk next to it.
With that said, no huge quakes anywhere around the world. The big ones, biggest ones happening right here where we saw that 7.0 yesterday. Also over off the point in Russia there. Some 5.5s, five 5.6s. Five five I believe that to be a 5.0. And a 5.6 as well here. We do have some activity up here near Mount Rainier, but they're calling it a negative 0.2 magnitude. So I don't think we should worry very much about that. Again, this really bothers me based on where it is right there in the middle of the Raton Clayton volcanic field and this is Veles Caldera here. God bless folks. Let me know what you think since we saw six dormant volcanoes wake up last week. I figured I'll best report this. I'm sure you'll hear from everyone else on YouTube now that I have. Share and subscribe. Always remember anything's possible. Bizarro world.